get somewhere and your Wi-Fi automatically connects. You know your home. To the everyday person, Wi-Fi is like some kind of omnipresent magical force that's all around us. But what actually is it? Get now that get. Now you could be forgiven for assuming that Wi-Fi is like some kind of cloud. The reality is a tad more bleak, boring, complicated, and a bit tangled pro. Let's do this. Before we go any further, you probably think that Wi-Fi stands for something like wireless field. Wi-Fi is not an acronym. Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi. It doesn't stand for anything. Nothing. The name and logo was simply invented by a bunch of chaps called Intraband for the Wi-Fi Alliance. Sorry to burst that bubble. Wi-Fi is, however, a wireless network, so confusion is pretty common, even amongst online experts. Wireless networks such as television signals, mobile phone signals, and indeed Wi-Fi all transmit data using radio waves. To actually connect to Wi-Fi, you need a router, and this needs to be connected to an Ethernet cable, which is connected to your phone line, which is connected to your internet service provider. Whew. Now devices like this, which are capable of wireless connections, have an antenna. This is the same for the router. These antennas transmit and receive data via radio signals and then translate them into binary data that a computer could understand. Now I hesitate to say this, but those are the basics. Yeah, basics. To get a better idea of what actually happens, let's literally see it in action. What actually happens when you load up your Facebook page? Again. Firstly, the wireless adapter in your computer translates your request into a radio signal which it then transmits via its antenna. The router then receives this radio signal and translates it back to the data which is then sent into the depths of the internet. Your request then has a casual chat with the internet and returns back with the data you requested. Now basically the whole process works again but in reverse. The router converts this new data into a radio signal which it then transmits. The computer then picks up this signal and translates it back to binary data. The computer then interprets this binary data and BAM! You see that nothing's changed on your Facebook page. Yeah, it's always worth another try, right? Now what's really amazing is that on an average internet connection, all of this technical faffing about happens in less than 200 milliseconds. That's less than a fifth of a second. That's fast. So if you're like poor old me living in the countryside, 200 milliseconds is probably more like five minutes. Maybe 10. So that in a nutshell is Wi-Fi. Consider yourself more informed and with significantly more online street cred than you had before. I think. Now I'm a bit of a geek, if you can't already tell. Now my question to you is, what everyday technology do you want to know more about? Let me know in the comments down below. Now I'm Joseph. Thank you for watching Tech Joe Logic. So that, in a nutshell, is crap. <laughs>